Give me five bucks for your sandwich. <laughs> wow. You have a good day at the lemonade stand? Look, I'm totally broke, okay? We can't all make him a high five figures like you. <laughs> Low six figures? <laughs> I hate you. I'll tell you what. This one's on me. Oh. <laughs> hey, check it out. You know what this means? That you're the new Harry Potter? <laughs> no, I got the job. Oh, oh, my God, that's amazing. Thank you. What job? I told you about this, David. Sportsaholics, regional highlight show. The one with the really hot anchor woman. Oh, oh yes. 5'7", long brown hair, 36C, naughty, naughty smile. <laughs> I love that show. What are you doing, getting coffee or something? No, I'm an on-air reporter. Yeah, they're starting a new segment where an average guy tells all the other average guys watching what it's like to be a professional athlete. So I get to, like, try to hit against Pete Sampras' serve or defend against a slap shot. I also have to get coffee. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Weren't there, like, like, 100 people applying for that job? Yes, but none of them are more average than me. Apparently, I am stunningly average. <laughs> wow, that's, like, the worst pickup line ever. So, wait, when do you start? Tomorrow. And my first assignment is to catch a pass from an NFL quarterback. Ooh. Yep. You get the job? Yep. I was the most average. <laughs> That's my boy. Good thing your mother drank and smoked when she was pregnant. <laughs> okay, Schwartz, you're on a 60. Oh, I'm so excited about this. My first TV job, and it's on my favorite show. Oh, thank you. I, I can't tell you how grateful I feel about this. You know, I don't give a rat's ass how you feel. Just do it. What? I'm, 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 t I'm talking to my stage manager. Oh. Anyway, if there's anything you want me to do differently or you need anything Just at all... Just shut up and do your job. <laughs> Glad I'm not that guy. I'm talking to you. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding, okay? <laughs> Trying to loosen you up. Okay. okay. <laughs> Second stage. Okay. Good? Good? Okay. Schwartz, good luck. Okay. Quite on the set in five, four, three... Welcome back to Sportsaholics. Hope you didn't pull a groin during that trip to the fridge. I love it when she says groin. Tonight we're debuting a new segment, Bright Lights, Average Joe, with our new reporter, Average Adam Schwartz. Let's send it on out to him. Thanks, Kyle. You ever fantasize you're the guy dunking over Shaquille O'Neal or returning one of Pete Sampras' 120 mile per hour serves? Well, today I'll be living out one of those fantasies, catching a pass from former All-Pro New York Jets quarterback Ken O'Brien. So, Ken, what route will I be running today? Well, it's a timing pattern. You're going to run down the field 15 steps, turn, and the ball will be there. Great. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Hut. can't believe I'm catching a pass from Ken O'Brien. This is so cool. Wait, I lost count. 13. Oh. <laughs> um, are you all right, Adam? Never better. You want to try it again? Never better. Okay. Well, um, we'll be right back after this brief time out. Come on, big money. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! I won. I won. I won a quarter. Hey, you're going to have a brother. Would you like to earn $500 a night? Do you have an apartment in the city? Are you planning on temporarily relocating? If your answers were yes, yes, and in fact I am, call us at City Rentals, where we rent apartments to business travelers who'd rather stay in a home than a hotel. Call us now at 555-0125. City Rentals. We'll help your bed make some money for you. Well, apartment, looks like you're going to be my bitch. Hey. Hey, yo, I saw the show last night. Are you okay? Okay, I'm great. Got most of my hearing back. And uh, I got Ken O'Brien to sign my CAT scan, so. Well, you know what, I thought it went great. Really? Yeah, I laughed my ass off. I mean, not at first, because I thought you were dead. But after they repeated it like seven or eight times and they added those funny sound effects, I was... it wasn't supposed to be funny, was it? No, 
Yeah, and, and it wasn't. It was just, you know, don't go by me. I always laugh inappropriately. When I saw Tuesdays with Maury, I was on the floor. <laughs> hey, 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 there's hey, the Bob. champ. Oh, yeah. Careful, Dad. I'm a little sore in this area here. I can't believe you were on television. I know. I know. I really think I'm on my way here, Dad. Good for you. So what's your next assignment? Oh, you ready for this? I get to try to hit against Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson? He's very good. He's okay. Seriously. I mean, most guys get fooled because they expect a fastball and he gives them a curve. That can't happen to me because I have no idea what to expect. So I have the advantage. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking of when Maury kicked it. I'm serious. I think I can get a piece of one. I agree. But the trick is, and not too many people know this, you have to keep your eye on the ball. Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Today, the Yankees take on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Pitching for the D-backs, the always opposing Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson, you're six foot ten, huh? That's an awful lot of chump. Hey, I'm gonna buy Oh, No, I'm not. Or am I? Yeah. See, you don't know who's fooling who now. Not afraid of you. Come on. It's oh, way he's back. out of here. Gone. Round tripper. Oh, it's gone. The crowd goes wild. Come in. I'm rounding third. Safe. Okay, when you come back from the land of make-believe, I have a hypothetical idea I want to run past you. I'm back. Um, listen, I am thinking of renting my apartment out to this agency. I can get like $250 a night to do nothing. In three days, I can make more in rent than I can in a week at my Crapola job. Where you also do nothing. True. Anyway, so what do you think? I think it's a great idea. Because, you know, without a roof over your head, you can become one of those delightfully colorful homeless people who think fudge is our national flower. <laughs> yeah, okay, give me some credit. I have thought this out. Yeah, I'm going to tell the people at the agency that I'm going away on business to, uh, I don't know, say, Japan. And then I find somewhere local to stay. Like where? Is that an offer? I would love to stay here. You are the best. No, 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 no. Julie, this is a bad idea. Okay, who's going to let you mooch off him just so you can pull off some scam? Your pipes first? <laughs> can you believe it? Oh, I mean, why do these things always happen to me? Anyway, can I stay here for a day or two? Why don't you just stay at Schwartz's? <laughs> Come on. Why do you think? I don't know why. Okay, you guess I me. Mean, it's so obvious. Oh my God! You mean? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. But uh, but don't tell him because I I wouldn't want to hurt his feelings. Why would that hurt his feelings? Look, can I just stay here or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, a day or two won't be a problem. Oh, great! And I promise I will not be a nuisance. In fact, you know what? I'll babysit and I'll I'll, I'll take out the garbage. And mm, I'll, sweet, be like a live-in maid, huh? Topless vacuuming optional. He's a pig. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, she will not lift a finger because I was taught to be a gracious host, and that's exactly what I'm going to be. So, David, uh, go get her bag and um, pull out the sofa because I want to make her feel right at home. Well, to do that, I'd have to put a strange guy in her bed every night, wouldn't I? <laughs> ready to make some more magic, champ? Oh, uh, I have never been more ready. So, uh, you met Randy Johnson yet? No, I can't wait. Well, let's take care of that right now. Hey, okay. Randy! <laughs> Schwartz is Randy Johnson. Randy, this is Adam Schwartz. Hi, it's Randy with an I. Like candy. With an I. <laughs> hey, Randy here won the Cy Youngster Award for a softball league two years in a row. It would have been three in a row, but I had to have my tonsils out. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? See, we thought it'd be a hoot if you batted against her. Randy Johnson. Yeah. Okay, but I thought I was batting against the Randy Johnson. The Arizona Diamondbacks? What's funny about that? <laughs> well, I didn't sign up to be funny, AJ. I signed up to be a sportscaster. I know, I know. But the other night was such a big hit. And in television, when you find something that works, you keep doing it until the audience is sick to death of it. And then you turn it into a movie. <laughs> I don't want to be difficult here, AJ. But what's funny about me crushing a little girl's pitches to New Jersey? No offense. <laughs> Funnier the first four times you did it. Tool. Hey. Oh, hey, how 
how's the uh, show go last night? Uh, did you watch it? No, I fell asleep early. Oh, then it went great. Yeah. I didn't actually get a hit, but, you know, we're talking Randy Johnson, the big unit, you know. He's mowed down Ken Griffey Jr., Barry Bonds. Oh, is that Barry with an I? So you said you didn't watch it. I didn't. I saw it on the internet. My friend from Singapore emailed it to me. So what are you going to do? I don't know. My dream job has turned into a nightmare. This morning on the bus, a Girl Scout threatened to kick my ass in tetherball. <laughs> Just quit. Can't quit. I signed a contract. Plus, for better or worse, I'm getting exposure, making connections, and making pretty good money. Look, I don't care how much they're paying you, okay? No amount of money is worth compromising your dignity. They pay me two grand a week. Two, two, two grand a week? Are you kidding? For two grand a week, I let them set my hair on fire and use me to light the Olympic torch. You know what? I can do this. I mean, I'm sure the novelty will wear off soon and they'll realize what they got in me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, exactly. So, you know what? Let them have their fun. I'll show them I'm the bigger man. towel out for Julie? Yes. And you pulled that sofa? Yes. Oh, and what about... Yes, um, yes, yes. I've been a very good boy. And now it's time for me to be a very bad boy. <laughs> no, 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 honey, honey, no. Look, Julie is in the other room, okay? I just, I don't want her to, you know, hear us. It's, it's not polite. Okay, look, I'll tell you what, I'm only going to give like a 20% effort, okay? You won't even enjoy it. Oh, God, you are so romantic. Like, no, Connie, I know, I know, but you know what? She's gone tomorrow, okay? Fine. Hey, wait a minute, I know. Why don't I invite her in to join us? I'm just trying to be a good host. Schwartz, you ready? No. This is stupid. Come on, Schwartz, we're on the clock here. Let's be professional about this. Why do I have to wear this? When you played football, you wore pads. When you played baseball, you wore a uniform. When you get picked up and twirled around by a gay Russian skater, you're going to wear a sequin unitard. It's authentic, and besides, it's hysterical. Okay, all right, well, why stop there? Well, why not put me in a dress? Why didn't I think of that? Hey, wardrobe! Are you like a size four? Okay, no, that's it. All right, I'm tired of you guys making me look like an idiot. Okay, you are not an idiot. You're a buffoon. We find that that word tests better. Hey, did, did, did you see Game 7 of the 86 World Series? I don't really like sports. Okay, all right, well, I do. All right, I love sports. And from the moment I watched that game, I knew I was going to devote myself to becoming a sportscaster. And I haven't worked my butt off so that I could wear a sequined unitard or, or, or box three rounds with a pygmy. Granted, he hit you below the belt, but... What do you expect? He's a pygmy! That's it. I quit. Okay, you can sue me if you want to, but enough is enough. All right, all right, come on, Schwartz, Schwartz, wait, come back here. All right, look, Schwartz, I like you. You're a team player, and I don't want to lose you, so... What's it going to take to keep you around? Give me a shot behind the desk. Okay. Really? Yeah, you can co-anchor tomorrow night. Oh, my God, I was totally bluffing. <laughs> yeah, well, you've earned it. And besides, we need someone because Kyle's getting his tan surgically deepened tomorrow. Thank you, AJ. You are not going to regret this. <sighs> can we get this adjusted? my clothes. I said I was going to do everyone's laundry tomorrow. No, David's happy to do it. So I'm not. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Uh, I'm heading out, you guys. Oh, um, I think I may have left your freezer open last night, so you might want to smell your meat. <laughs> uh, Julie, um, gosh, we love having you here. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Lots, lots, lots. Um, but, you know, any idea when your pipes will be fixed? Oh, uh, probably by tomorrow. Two days tops. S seriously, I, I really appreciate all you guys have done. And in fact, when I get home tonight, I'm doing all the dishes. Mm -mm, don't be silly, David can do them. Okay, do me a favor, can you stop, like, uh, offering to do things? <laughs> all right, anyway, thanks again. I'll see you later. Oh, um, and don't worry, I'll be back before 11, and there won't be any boys at the party. <laughs>
Uh, Julie's phone? Konnichiwa. Who is it? Oh, you speak English very well. Thanks. So do you. Uh, who is this? Oh, I, I was trying to reach Julie Herman. Oh, she just stepped out. Could you leave her a message for me? Sure. Could you tell her that the client renting her apartment wants to stay an additional six months and she should call me ASAP? Ah, renting her apartment. Okay, I'll let her know. Sayonara. Sayonara. Oh, listen, you guys, I forgot my uh, cell phone. Yeah, Julie, listen, um, sayonara. Okay, let's get to it. So you see the Knicks game last night? They played? Yeah, you did a preview of the game on yesterday's show. Look, this job is just temporary till I can get a real news job. Don't tell anyone, but next week I'm auditioning for E! Fashion Emergency. Wow, I hear that's how Walter Cronkite got started. <laughs> Follow football. There he is. Mr. Television. Hey, where's Martin Sheen? Something I gotta ask him. Uh, uh, not everyone in television works in the same building. Um, what are you doing here? I wanted to watch you on your big night. So, who's your friend? Oh, this is my co anchor, Kelsey. Kelsey's my father, Gene. Hello. Wow. You're a lot taller in person and a lot more fetching. Listen, you know, Adam is not seeing anyone if you're interested. Are you Jewish? Okay, all right. Uh, this is our producer, AJ. AJ, this is my father. Oh, hey, n nice to meet you. So, where do the parents sit? Okay. Uh, Dad, you can just sit right there. Hurry before the other parents get the best seats. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I know. Have a good show? Yeah, good luck. Thanks, Kelsey. No problem. Oh, and don't upstage me, or I'll shove that earpiece into your brain. Okay, everybody, we're on in 20 seconds. AJ, I cannot thank you enough for this opportunity. Would you shut up with all of this? Stage manager? No, you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just trying to loosen you up. Now, of course, don't be nervous. All you got to do is read from the teleprompter in front of you. Couldn't be easier. Got it? Uh, yeah, there's only one problem. Is, uh, I never learned to read. That's okay, neither did Kelsey. <laughs> I'll kill you, I swear it. We're on in five, four, three... Welcome to Sportsaholics. Thanks for tuning in. Like there's any way you could stop yourselves from watching? I'm Kelsey Anders. And I'm Adam Schwartz sitting in for Kyle Jakes. Our top story, free throws may be, well, free, but apparently there's no room for them in Shaq's budget as the Lakers hosted the... The, uh... Their arch rivals who have given them quite a battle at times, the... Oh, I get it. Turn off the teleprompter and watch me make a buffoon of myself. Ha! That's funny. But you know what's really funny? That this sports show doesn't have anyone who knows anything about sports except me. Oh, watch this. Kelsey, who was the MVP of the 73 Nick championship team? Uh, J.R. Ewing. Uh, you mean Patrick Ewing? Yes. Patrick Ewing. No, I'm sorry, Kelsey. Patrick Ewing was 11 years old in 73. The answer is Willis Reed. Um, Schwartz. Yeah, you know, I asked for one thing, but you jerks couldn't do it. You know what? This isn't a sports show. It's a freak show. And I myself am embarrassed to even be a part of it. Um, Schwartz, uh, there's a cord under the desk that leads to the teleprompter. You kicked it loose. <laughs> ah. As the Lakers hosted the Miami Heat. Let's go to the highlights, shall we? I can't believe they fired you during a commercial. You must be so bummed. Not really. Next week they were going to put me into a bobsled filled with bees. You know, the bottom line is that was not the job for you. Why not? Because the one thing you are definitely not is average. Thanks. You know what? I'm going to stay here tonight just, just to make sure that you're all right. I'm okay. I'll be fine. No, no, no. At times like this, you need a good friend, okay? In fact... I should probably stay for like six months, you know, just to be sure. Okay, what's going on? My pipe's first. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun, like living in an amusement park. Please. All right, all right. Well, there are certain.
certain rules. First of all, keep your arms and legs inside the apartment at all times. Fine, but you must be this tall to ride your roommate. Oh, you didn't quite make it. You just missed maybe next year. What if I wear my safety belt? No, I'm sorry, I can't risk it. A guy flew off once. Wasn't pretty. All right. If you'd rather pay your rent in cash. Oh, all right, climb aboard. I gotta get your room ready. Wait, so I really don't have to sleep with you? You are the best roommate ever!